what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. We cover space news, space anomalies, talking Mars, Moon, anything. Even here on Earth, we cover some anomalies. Dawn, Cirrus, kind of upset. I've been waiting for these new pictures. We have gotten from the... Uh, the first pictures we got show this amazing spots that these bright spots on Cirrus. It's it's just a mystery. It's baffled scientists. We got down to the second orbit where uh, we got these beautiful pictures back, and this the orbit now is 2,700 miles. Well, apparently there's been a glitch and there's been a, an anomaly in the system, and uh, I'm going to read this to you and uh, it's pretty much just summarize a little bit of it. It's not too long. This is a press release that came out yesterday. Um, Dawn's mission status report. And this is kind of know my I know our space. Uh, some of my subs are gonna have some good comments to go with this because it's kind of interesting. I wonder if they just want to see the pictures before us. Maybe. All right. NASA's Dawn spacecraft is healthy and stable after experiencing an anomaly in the system that controls its orientation. It's still in its second mapping orbit at 2,700 miles above the dwarf planet Cirrus. So it's still right where it was. Um, now, on June 30th, shortly after turning on its ion engine to begin the gradual spiral down to the next mapping orbit, the protective software detected the anomaly. Dawn responded as a design by stopping all activities, including thrusting. So apparently, it started, it was getting ready to move down, down to the next orbit, and uh, something flipped over in the uh, safe mode, turned it off, and it started running. Basically, we got, okay, reconfigured its systems to safe mode and then transmitted a signal back to Earth looking for further instructions. So basically it said, hey guys, something's wrong here. And I uh, just sat there in safe mode, turned all thrusters off. So on the 1st and 2nd of July, the engineers made configuration changes needed to return the spacecraft to its normal operating mode. The spacecraft is out of the safe mode and using its main antenna to communicate with Earth. So I guess apparently it's it, they've got it out of safe mode, but here's the kicker. Dawn will remain at its current orbital altitude until the operations team had completed an analysis of what occurred and updated the flight plan. So I guess they're going to go through all the logs. I mean, I imagine there's hundreds of logs that could probably come back. Um, I, I don't know. I'm sure they're transmitted all the time. Um, I mean, just with working with computer systems myself, I'm an IT guy, and I know how we have logs of everything. So I guess they're going to go through these logs before they move forward again. And, uh, and they're saying because of the versatility of Dawn's ion propulsion system and the flexibility of the mission's plans for exploring Cirrus, there's no special window for starting the completing the spiral to the third mapping orbit. The plans for the third and fourth mapping orbits can be shifted to new dates without significant changes in the objectives or the productivity. So they're still planning on getting it to go. Um, you can check this out. This was Elizabeth, Elizabeth Landau from uh, NASA's JPL put this out. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, it always seems to be like right when we're going to get something really cool. I mean, they found that that real huge pyramid-shaped piece. I think it was three mile high. Um, they see these lights. I mean, they get really decent resolution at this. And this was going to be like double the resolution we were going to get back this next time. And it uh, just so happens, I mean, this was right. New Horizons is on its way to Pluto. And it had an anomaly as well. Now, here's this beautiful picture back. This is uh, right here. This is new, NASA's New Horizon, a heart from Pluto as flyby begins. And uh, this has been called the, this is the heart region and the whale region. Um, this is probably one of the best ones we've had so far. So this image, okay, this image was the uh, Lori camera here. It was received on July 8th and has been combined with the lower resin color information. So basically they took this from a Ralph instrument. It's a color piece and they blended the two together to get this picture for you which is pretty amazing um, that we even have this technology to send out here and this is 10 year old technology so after more than nine years three billion mile journey to pluto it's showtime for nasa's new horizon spacecraft as a flyby sequence of scientific observations is officially underway in the early morning hours of july 8th mission scientists receive its new view, new view of pluto and a beautiful one indeed. Um, we just talked about that up there, I read. All right, now this image was taken on July 7th when the spacecraft was just under 5 million miles from Pluto. Can you believe that was actually taken 5 million miles from Pluto? Um, that is a far, I mean, that's a heck of a, a photograph for being 5 million miles away, I must say. 
Um, it is first to be received by uh, since July 4th anomaly that sent the spacecraft into safe mode. So once again, safe mode, it, this one uh, jumped into safe mode and they were able to get it out of it. Obviously, it's taking pictures again. So this view is centered roughly on the area that will be seen close up during the New Horizons July 14th closest approach, which is about five days away we're looking at or something about that. I think it's about five days or so. They've got the countdown on it. This side of Pluto is dominated by three broad regions of varying brightness. Most prominent are the elongated dark feature at the equator, informally known as the whale, and the large heart-shaped bright area measuring some 1,200 miles across the right, on the right. Above the feature is a polar region that is intermediate brightness. This over here is the, the uh, I guess this is the heart. See there, the heart there, and this was the whale. And this is the, uh, what, what did they call that one up there? It's just the polar region. I didn't have a cute name for that one. But I don't know, guys. What do you think? Everything's blowing up. Is there electrical stuff going on out there? Uh, maybe Thunderbolts. I wonder what their channel has to say about it. But they kind of just buried that whole uh, anomaly thing in this. Dawn holding in its second map orbit i would think the headline would have been anomaly in you know anomaly in spacecraft delays third mapping you know and it keeps the keeps it going maybe a little bit longer i love to hear what you guys think about this my subscribers are the, but you guys are the best i mean i wouldn't do this without you um i'm really pumped to hear what you guys have to say so much comment below uh, come check out the website. I've done a lot. I've added instant messaging. You guys can talk to each other on there off of Facebook. You don't have to. I mean, there's instant messaging. There's email back and forth to each other now. Um, chat rooms, forums, all this is free. I don't charge you a dime. There's a couple little ads and stuff like that on, on the thing. You get you know, nothing major. They're all safe. So if you do click one, you know, something's interesting to you. They're not going to blow your computer up. But anyway... Come check us out at the website, whatsupinthesky.com. Sign up. You can even sign up with Facebook and Twitter. It takes a couple minutes to do to sign up. All you have to do is go to your email once you've signed up and just hit the little button saying that you are who you are. And uh, come talk to us on the forum. So, all right, guys, much love to you. What's going on? What do you think about this? An anomaly. And uh, they say it's back, you know, it's back good to go. So don't we can't worry. It's out of safe mode, and it's using the main antenna. But what will happen when they go to fire the thing up again, this could happen again, and we may never see what those bright lights are. How, what a kicker that would be. Oh, my goodness. So, All right, guys, much love to you. What's up in the sky.com? Come visit me. Much love. Peace. Right, hold on. One more over. All right. Peace.